My name is Raquel Jimenez, and I'm the co coordinator for Youth and Family Engagement um, with Family Schools Community Partnerships. And I'm so excited to be here today. Um, this will be a shared presentation with members from our Family Engagement Collaborative. Um, we have a sh really short presentation, so we're going to go really quickly. We're going to start off with um, a quick overview of our strategic plan goals that, str that specifically call out family engagement, um, a quick overview of the family engagement research that has informed both our process and the standards that are in front of you, um, and then we're going to close with um, an overview of the actual family engagement standards and um, President London and board member Hinton Hodge will close us out with the reading of the resolution. So I'm proud to say that we've accomplished um, our strategic goals one and two. So we've convened the Family Engagement Collaborative to create the, the Family Engagement Standards. Um, we've also convened the Family Engagement Advisory Committee to advise and support the district in the creation of these uh, family engagement structures that are called out in our strategic plan. Um, and with the adoption of these standards, our, what, what we strongly believe is that goals three and four will then follow, right? Because the standards will really allow us to establish those structures and supports to build parent leadership. Um, and to continue engaging parents and our families on our school sites. Um, and I'd also just like to remind everyone um, of our quality community school standards that were adopted when our strategic plan was adopted and specifically essential standard number five around meaningful um, family engagement. Um, and if you recall, you know, bullet number seven on page 57, um, was put in there as a placeholder in anticipation of these standards moving forward with the understanding that our school sites would apply the family engagement standards through the um, and, and implement that um, and we would use that in our school quality review. So with that, um, we researched um, and looked at best practices in other school districts in our state. And the main thing we learned is the importance of having a board resolution in place to sustain the work after um, changes in leadership or staff. So what you have up here is a quote from one of the teachers that we interviewed um, in Coachella Valley. Um, a board resolution ensures that there's a system in place to monitor and ensure that this is happening at a, at a site level. And this, this is a document sustaining parental involvement regardless of who is in charge. Oh, good evening. My name is Anika Hardy and I'm a part of the Family Engagement Collaborative and Advisory. I'm also a staff member of the Office of African American Male Achievement. And as Raquel just mentioned, we um, did want to share some of the best practices and family engagement research that informed our practices as a group. And so I'm really just going to share quickly two of the um, research uh, pieces that we used. The first is Dr. Joyce Epstein's framework of six types of involvement. As you can see there, they are parenting, communicating, volunteering, learning at home, decision making, and collaborating with community. Uh, we also looked at the national PTA's standards for school family partnerships. Uh, their standards are that we be welcoming to all families into the school community, that we communicate effectively, support student success, speak up for every child, share power, and collaborate with the community. Good evening. <clears throat> My name is uh, Olga Pineda, and I'm a member of the Family Engagement uh, Advisory. I'm representing QCSD. I am actually work uh, with the School Quality Review. Um, two additional uh, sources of research that we explored are Henderson and MAP and the Harvard Family Research Project. And what we learned from, uh, from reading and being engaged in those um, in, in that research, uh, first of all, is that programs and interventions that engage families in supporting their children's learning at home are closely linked uh, to improved student achievement. And another piece of key findings is that um, 
Schools would have to spend 1,000 more per pupil to reap the same gains in student achievement that an involved parent brings. Good evening. Uh, my name is Gulliver Scott, and I'm a member of the Family Engagement Advisory Committee and Collaborative. I represent Bay Area Plan, Parent Leadership Action Network. Um, Along with the national level research around the benefits and uh, positive outcomes on family engagement, um, we were also interested in what was going on in other school districts in California. Um, so we had staff and interns conduct and bring us research um, from five school districts um, to learn about the process and the conditions um, that have enabled uh, really positive family engagement initiatives to take place. Um, so you can see those school districts um, on the slide um, and we were really curious to know how board involvement and policy affected these initiatives um, and so there are different uh, results that you can see on the far right column in terms of parent bill of rights and responsibilities family resource centers well-funded um, parent liaisons at uh, specific campuses um, so they're really a wide variety of things on the ground that were happening, but what they really had in common was strong involvement and participation from the boards of directors um, in these districts, whether that be through a board resolution, involvement in the process, um, or just communication and offering feedback and support um, for family engagement. Um, we also want to highlight um, in the case of Oceanside that they were able to uh, they had the capacity to conduct the research that really showed Im uh, improvement in student outcomes, specifically GPAs, because of the family engagement work that we're doing. So the research shows that family engagement has an impact at the student outcome level, um, and it also shows that board involvement and support is really important, and it shows that family engagement is a priority, um, and we're looking forward to your support. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Sarah Nuno. I am a member of the Family Engagement Advisory and Collaborative. I am also representing Great Oakland Public Schools this evening. We'd like to acknowledge all of the work done by previous civil rights leaders and groups from deep East Oakland to West Oakland, like the African American and Latino task forces, who have dedicated many years to work on social justice issues within our system. Um, we looked to Oceanside, Coachella, San Diego, and San Francisco for successful family engagement models. What we found is that each unique program required time and resources to develop and thrive. Oceanside's uh, college-bound Saturday workshops has been sustained for four years. Coachella Valley's Unified Parents uh, Empower Empowerment Parent Volunteer Program has sustained for over six. San Diego Unified Parent University has sustained for 15 years, and San Francisco Unified's Family Liaisons um, has sustained 60 um, sites for, for nine years, Parent Liaisons at 60 sites. We have also learned from previous efforts by OUSD to develop family engagement programs, practices, and culture. What we've learned was that previous efforts and initiatives had positive intentions and great work was done, but, when, but it was done in isolation from district-wide strategies that integrated family engagement into every department and program. Um, programs were not sustained because they were, not seen, they were seen as separate work from the district, and this work can't be the responsibility of only a few. For systemic change to happen, we need to establish systems and structures that are given time and resources to develop and thrive. We need this resolution to support family engagement as part of the work we do, our strategy to build full service community schools, and for everyone to understand family engagement as a cost effective strategy to increase student achievement and attendance. Thank you. Good evening, board. My name is Andre Spearman. I'm a parent of Mancinita Seed. I'm also a leader with OCO, a parent leader, and I'm totally excited to be here. How do we develop OUSD uh, family engagement standards? Uh, we convened the Family Engagement Advisory, which had the task of establishing norms, memberships, roles, and a steering committee for the larger work of the collaborative. And the Family Engagement Advisory, they met weekly, and part of the work was to organize information, develop the rubric, 
and also create planning opportunities. And as part of that work, they also expanded to include create, creation of the Family Engagement Collaborative, which I attend. Uh, it's a bi-monthly meeting. And part of the work there is brainstorming standards, which we'll talk about later, identify themes, organize these themes based on research, and then prioritize high leverage indicators for schools who are in year one. Part of the work is also visioning. Uh, and through meaningful family engagement, we envision a transformed school, a system that has directly confronted and addressed inequities and injustice so that every Oakland Unified School District student graduates and becomes a fully engaged member of our community. And so how do we breathe life into that process? We believe the standards help us do that. Uh, and so we have six that we believe are very important. And we need to do that to create meaningful community schools. Standard one, which is parent caregiver education program. Families are supported with parenting and child rearing skills, understanding child and adolescent development, setting home conditions that support children as students and at each age and grade level, and also assist schools in understanding families. Standard two, we need to ensure that families and school staff engage in a regular two-way communication with meaningful communication about student learning. Standard three, parent volunteering program. We can't emphasize that enough. Families are actively involved as volunteer in audiences at the school or other locations to support student and school programs. And standard four, learning at home. Families are involved with their children learning activities at home, including homework and other curricular linked activities and decisions. Standard five, shared power in decision making. Families and school staff are equal partners in decisions that affect children and families and together inform, influence, um, and create policies, practices, and programs to help us engage families in a meaningful way. And lastly, we can't do it alone. We need to reach out to our broader community. So community collaboration and resources being aligned as part of the strategic plan. So coordinated resources, services for family, students in the school with business owners, agencies, local, state, federal, and other groups, and provide services to the broader community. Good evening, board. Um, my name is Katie Nunez-Adler. I'm a member of the Family Advisory and Family Collaborative. I'm a mom of two kids in Oakland Unified School District, and I'm here tonight representing Oakland Community Organizations. I'm an organizer there. Um, so in order to achieve the goals um, that were just mentioned in terms of the family engagement resolution standards, there is four key components that we wanted to highlight. Um, first, the standards strengthen existing board policy on parent involvement, communication, notification, and parent rights and responsibility. The second component is that it recognizes family engagement as a key strategy to increasing student achievement and attendance. The third is that it calls for community and cross-departmental shared implementation. And finally, the fourth is that, that it emphasizes support and learning at the site and district levels for family engagement. We feel that the board has a critical role to play in supporting family engagement. And tonight we're asking you to do three key things. The first is to approve and uphold the family engagement standards that the collaborative has developed. The second is that we would really like to invite you to participate in a continuous and ongoing collaboration around this family engagement work, which is something that we heard you mention a lot earlier this evening. Um, as family engagement collaborative members, we are committed to working with staff throughout the district to support this work.